Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the wonderful world of corruption and conflict of interest and bias in Mississauga. Recently, some seven million of our tax dollars has been sent to discover what many in the community, like myself, already knew, that the mayor of Mississauga was directly involved in development for her family's profit. With a bill like this in the courts and growing, likely to go past 10 million. Elected officials abusing their power and position would appear to be commonplace, especially by those who have been in office for more than a few terms. This can be said to be part of the government culture in Mississauga. Behind me is the head of Peel District School Board and the home to the latest example of conflict of interest. I have filed a formal complaint regarding conflict of interest and bias against the chair, Janet McDougall, regarding her conduct concerning the renaming of Hazel, or rather a Hartsdale School, to Janet McDougall Public School. The school that was there was Linwood originally, and that was my old school. More about that later, and it's cover-up. The renaming was done in secret, and the community had no knowledge of it. So there was some very upset people, and it started a call uh, of conflict of interest regarding this action on the part of the board members. And when they heard about it, they should have taken greater action. My complaint deals with the period after the renaming was made public and how the chair of the board, Janet McDoodle, carried out her doodle duties. The McCallion Inquiry has been a costly uh, exercise and learning experience for Mississaugans, Mississaugans, and many have awakened and learned the reasons well, lessons well. They now speak up when they see something rotten. However, only a few, like myself, know how to deal with the situation. In fact, I have written a book about conflict of interest in the past, The Cullum Brief. Drawing on Canadian legal rulings, laws, practices, which are common in democracies to ba uh, combat the greatest poison to democracy, abuse by those in power for personal gain. It boils down to three simple principles. A person shall not judge their own cause, if the facts are made known to right-minded and unbiased and intelligent members of the community and they see the chance there could be a conflict of interest or a bias, then those involved should not be involved in the decisions that raise the concerns. And lastly, if they are involved, the decisions should not stand. This means that in Canadian courts and our democracy, the court of public opinion has authority. When taxpayers speak up, the government must listen regarding how it conducts its business to ensure the promise of good and fair government in the eyes of Canadians is kept. If government is accused of wrongdoing of this uh, of this kind of of this nature, then it must take whatever actions it can to correct the matter, to restore public faith. Otherwise, corruption and government will. Be corruption in government will grow and democracy will die. In this case, the, up, the uprising included letters, petitions, media articles, and parents presenting their concerns directly to the board and the request for the renaming to be void. Who dealt with these concerns? Janet McDougall. This places her squarely in a conflict of interest and bias situation. There will likely be uh, a case to be made for how the renaming was done in the first place, but that will have to wait. As the city of Mississauga is attacking me and my senior father because I have been a community champion in the past, and they need, uh, and this community now needs my help again to help the destruction of our local community and environment, it is very hard for me to do all the work that needs to be done. So this video will show how I knew to ask the one question that mattered. Directly to Janet McDougall to get her to confess that she sees great value in the, name, in the naming of a school after her. The first vis video is the edited version and after that the unedited. All other details, and there are many, are on my Democratic Reporter website. It is my hope to awaken the community to the cancer of corruption practices 
going on around us in Mississauga so that we can make Canada the place we think and hope it is, but really isn't. There you are. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Donald Barber, and uh, a good late evening to you all. I have one quick question uh, to the chair, Janet McDougall. In regards to having a school named after you, is it something you desired, something you had an interest in, or maybe something you saw a value in? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. If you would just identify yourself for a record, please. I'm sorry, your mic's not on. We'll get that on for you. Or do you have to, let me see, can I do that? I don't think I can do that. There's a, there's a, I think there's an on button, Mr. Nope, still not, but uh, our tech staff is going to come down and help you with that. There you are. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Donald Barber, and uh, a good late evening to you all. I have one quick question uh, to the chair, Janet McDougall. In regards to having a school named after you, is it something you desired, something you had an interest in, or maybe something you saw a value in? I certainly see a great value in it. I'm very honored to uh, have that recognition, especially by the colleagues, uh, my colleagues on the uh, on the board. And uh, it is a wonderful um, credit uh, to the work that I've done, but mostly on behalf of my family. I'm very honored. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you. I certainly see great value in it. I'm very honored to uh, have that recognition, especially by the colleagues, uh, my colleagues on the uh, on board. And uh, it is a wonderful um, credit uh, to the work that I've done mostly on behalf of my family. I'm very honored. Thank you very much.